Hey guys, what is up? So I was watching one of G9's streams the other day and in it, he was showing off a bit of the Honest Merchant mod and I was surprised actually a number of players hadn't heard of it yet before. I had considered making a video about this mod previously, but I assumed pretty much everybody knew about it at this point. But that experience led me to conclude that there are still quite a few people who don't know this mod. Uh, that's a shame. It is an amazing mod and I want to make sure that more people know about it. So I wanted to make this quick video. Uh, I'm going to show off using the Honest Merchant mod. Essentially the premise of the mod is it permits you to buy stuff super cheap and you can buy essentially anything in the game. Anything that you uh, would want to buy, uh, even things that you can't normally buy in the game are available to you here. And the way you interact with the Honest Merchant mod is you see the uh, that the kind of rotting corpse there of somebody uh, you essentially interact with that corpse through gestures so there's four gestures point up point down bow and wave we'll start with point down by far to me the most useful and you can see right away you can buy blessings uh, you can buy siegs you can buy all kinds of consumables bundles you can buy upgrade materials including slabs and maybe most importantly to me you can buy the infusible gems so if you need sharp gems simple gems uh, crystal gems whatever it is you don't have to farm for these you don't have to use cheat engine this mod in essence makes it really really easy to very quickly build a character and get all the things that you need for it I know uh, even on PC, sometimes either you're going to have to use Cheat Engine or you have a friend drop stuff for you uh, and it's kind of painful and I know a lot of people are kind of wary of using Cheat Engine or maybe they don't know how to use it. Well, this is a great option. You can see here you've got all the rings in the game are also available to you and this is all available right at the beginning of the game. You don't have to unlock anything here. Spells, pyromancies, seeds you can buy here if that's your thing. Um, so it just makes it really easy to get a character up and running. And you can see here too, you can buy Soul of a Great Champion. And you might think, well, if I can buy everything, why do I want Souls of a Great Champion? Well, they actually come in really handy uh, when you're down in Firelink and you're trying to do quick stuff uh, and you're upgrading things. You can just buy these here and then have them later for using. Um, I, I, I love using this mod. So that was the point down. Now if we look at point up, this brings up another set of menus that we can take a look at here. This is all the weapons in the game. Every weapon, I think the shields are all here too, crossbows, bows, catalysts, um, everything is here. And again, just super convenient to be able to have all this stuff in one spot. Uh, I don't use this one quite as much, but especially if you're looking to get in a weapon, maybe it's like a rare drop from uh, an enemy. This makes it simple. You don't have to worry about your friend having it. You don't have to look up those those tables in cheat engine you don't have to worry about whether you're doing the right like item gib or item swap am i going to get caught am i not um i've been using this for weeks on end i know a number of other people have i haven't had any problems i haven't heard of anyone having any problems with this mod in terms of getting banned of course it's always something to consider it's not a zero risk but I, at this point i'm not really very worried in fact i had initially confined my use of the mod to my alt but now i've started using it on my main my main uh, steam account as well because i just i'm that confident i'm not going to have any issues with it um one thing that this mod does not seem to do uh, that would be really great if it could is enable you to upgrade your your weapons here you can see i just bought uh, that partisan for one soul everything is one soul uh, and, and now here the bow this is the third menu we've done point up point down and now bow the bow one is actually kind of weird it seems to have some latency like the menu doesn't always come up right away it sometimes takes like a good few seconds it's also very sensitive to how closely you stand to the corpse you sometimes have to be right on top of it the bow menu allows you to infuse weapons which is kind of cool but you buy all the gems here anyway there's really no difference that i can see uh infusing weapons here versus infusing weapons down at firelink i i may be missing something maybe there's some benefit to doing it here maybe there's a way to upgrade weapons here i don't know but it would be really nice to be able to say hey let me just upgrade right in place here so i don't have to go here and then go to to andre it's a small complaint i know it's a, a first world problem but this mod is so insanely useful that you start to notice all the things that it doesn't do just because it solves so many problems. That would be one thing I'd love to see the mod creator add is the ability to upgrade weapons. But then uh, Wave, that's the final one. 
Here you can buy every armor set, every piece from every armor set, whether it's a drop, uh, whether it normally would show up from the vendor in Firelink. And again, everything is unlocked from the very beginning of the game. You don't have to worry about unlocking this stuff to buy it. And again, everything is only a single soul. So super cheap. You come in here with a thousand souls and basically you'll be able to buy everything that you could possibly want for a build. You can buy the, 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 the budding blossoms. You can buy seeds. You can buy blessings. I think here in a minute I'm going to go back to the point down menu. In fact, I'd actually narrated this in real time as I was kind of exploring this, but what I found is the audio wasn't very good. I ended up having to redo it. Yeah, here we are back in the point down menu. You can buy the Estus shards and the undead bone shards. I've not had need to do that yet, but it's there if you need it. Uh, this is super cool for PvP builds, uh, being able to get all the the, uh, the blessings. Being, you can get rusted gold coins if you want for farming, but at this point, why on earth would you farm since everything is in here? Uh, this, this mod in just three weeks has saved me untold hours and headaches. It's let me try out weapons that I probably wouldn't have tried out otherwise because of the difficulty of getting them. Guys, I, I mean, I just don't know how many great things I can say about this mod. And as if this isn't all enough already, this mod has another awesome feature that I wanna make sure I share with you guys. Uh, normally, if, if you know, if you have a PC and you run Dark Souls 3 and you run mods, you've probably run into the following scenario where you go to install another mod only to realize that the DLL that it uses has the same name as another mod. And so you can only have one or the other installed. This particular mod has a very clever uh, solution for that problem. If you have another mod that has the same name as this mod, it has a configuration file that effectively allows you to rename the other mods DLL and then reference it in a configuration file here for Honest Merchant, which I think should allow you to have uh, essentially infinite number of mods all sharing the same name by default. You would just give them new DLL names and you'll be able to access them all uh, at the same time, which is a really nice feature. I'm really glad the mod creator put this in. I will be sure to leave a link to the mod page. I think it's on Nexus Mods. Huge shout out to the creator for creating this. I really think that's amazing. Huge contribution. And also shout out to Mook. Mook's the one that pointed me to this mod in the first place. I had actually solicited some help from him getting my PC build ready for the duels I streamed a few weeks ago. And he was like, hey dude, yeah, I'll help you, but have you checked this mod out? I think it'll do everything you want. And it sure did. So thanks Mook. I think it's Church Guard that created the mod. Thanks to him for creating this mod. Hopefully you guys have fun with this. I'll leave a link to everything in the description. Thanks for stopping by guys. Take care now.